Hey guys, me Poppy Rain here, coming to you with a new video. Per usual, I'm always cleaning. So that's what we're doing today. We're putting away a load whoops, of laundry. Even though my last couple videos were not cleaning videos. But I've got a shit ton of laundry to put away. I have not been working on doing laundry, but I've been working on putting laundry away. So today we have these joggers that I got from Aldi's. You would have seen in a recent video. Uh. Right now, I do have a pile of clothes on my floor. Sorry, my stomach's really gassy. Mm. The pile of clothes on my floor is clothes that I don't have room for yet because I haven't got my new dressers. We have another pair of joggers from Aldi's. Uh. Oh, sorry. My stomach is so gassy. It hurts really, really bad. I want to cry. <clears throat> My heartburn's been acting up really bad, but work's been so stressful these last... Like, well, from a week ago Friday till now. It's been crazy. Okay. So I think I got the wrong size for this dress. Because I didn't check the sizes, and a large is actually what, it, in most stores, is an XL. So hopefully this fits. But this is from Aldi's. Aldi's does have some cute clothes, I have to say. I have a shirt from Aldi's that I love. And a cardigan from Aldi's that I love. And I've, I've worn a couple pair of Aldi's underwear, too. <clears throat> And I have some bras, no, not underwear. I do have some bras from all these. But we have this dress. Look at how cute. This is the Sierra dress. I could have, you actually need a size. So I didn't realize, just for future reference with all these, with certain things, double check sizing on them because you do actually need to size down with them. Because their sizes run big. So, like I said, I usually shop at Walmart and Shein and thrift stores. Well, Walmart and Shein mainly for, for plate purchases. And those are usually an 8-10. This is a 12-14, so hopefully it fits. But I can probably just wear a belt. It's too small. Or too big. Yeah, too small. This, I actually got the correct size. This is a romper. It's a lounge romper. This was in the medium. Again, it's the Sierra brand. I'm not going to hang this stuff up every time. I'll do it sporadically. So I think there was another color of this, but they didn't have it. When I went, I think there was a white one. They only had, like, a couple of these left. It's so cute. It does have a little opening back here. Nothing like major crazy. I'm just hoping it fits me lengthwise. Because in case you guys are new here, I am only 4'8". So not very tall. Let's see. We have an Aldi's pullover. This is Aldi's brand. So this matches the gray legging. The gray legging. Gray sweatpants I just got. So it's kind of plain for my liking. Well, wrap in the Aldi's. I think I like the blue set better than the gray set. I wasn't going to buy the gray set, but then in the heat of the moment I did. Because my son was driving me not so Because he was cranky. He was good for the first, like, 10, 15 minutes we were in there. We have this cute jean dress from Walmart. Because I'm big into jean, jean dresses this year. That's why I got that black dress. I just got that in my, if you see my last Walmart grocery haul, you'll see this dress. We 
pair of Daddy's PJ pants that he actually got for Christmas, which is what started the whole banana thing. He gets lots of banana stuff. Because I found those at Ocean State Job Lot. They have good clothes, too. So, don't always think clothing stores for clothes. Sometimes places you would never think have cute clothes. For example, Aldi's or Ocean State Job Lot. Five below, even. I get most of my t-shirts. Most of my t-shirts are either thrifted, Shein, Romley, Timu, or Five Below. So again, I made the same mistake with the as I did with the last dress. Same dress as the black, not the last dress I just showed you, but the black dress, sorry. This is actually jean colored. So she's a cutie. And it's all started because I got a pickup from a free group and there was a jean dress, a uh, jumper dress in this pickup, this lot, and I've been obsessed ever since. So I'm gonna throw away some of this garbage. It's funny because I just had daddy empty this garbage can and now pull again. It's just like little Dollar Tree garbage cans, you know, like desk room size ones. Because typically, the only, the main, like, the boys' room has quite a bit of garbage because diapers. And the bathroom has quite a bit of garbage because bathroom. Because, you know, always throwing away Q-tips, period stuff, diapers sometimes, toilet paper rolls. Get some ketchup. Yeah, this towel... This was Daddy's, actually, before we got together. Daddy's had this towel for years. Let's see, what size are these pants? These can go in a donate. Uh, actually, they might work for a girl. Someone put them in the pink black bag. They're six months. My son cannot wear six months no more. So my son, currently, as you're seeing, as I'm filming this video, he wears six to nine months, which he started to outgrow. I'm thinking by his birthday, because it's the middle of March now, so by the by his birthday in the end of June, he won't wear six to nine months anymore. He'll wear maybe six to 12 still, nine and nine to 12. This shirt I thrifted for daddy. Because, you know, I believe I thrifted that one. Because Daddy pretty much wears Subway shirts and Deadpool shirts. That's about it. We have another Aldi's merch item. I did not get all, there was one piece I didn't get because it had like a weird cinched waist. Like those ones that you can like have the part, the last where you can pull it and adjust it. Didn't like that. I didn't get the hats or anything. I didn't get a lot of the accessories. I only got one of the little coin holders. Didn't get any of the hats. Didn't get any cups because they didn't have the ones I wanted. But I think, out of the sweaters, I think this one's going to be my favorite. Just because it's stripey. And I love a good uh, rainbow stripey moment. I can't say stripes in general, but rainbow stripey moment. This was actually a towel I bought from, I don't remember where, for one of the boys for Christmas. The boys don't get much use out of them. Because a lot of times it works out with daddy's schedule that their mom ends up having to give them a bath because we don't have time to. Because lately, daddy's, it's a 50-50 if daddy has to work on a Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it is, someday. Because we have them from noon on Saturday until noon on Sunday, or till, wow, till Sunday night, usually at eight, because we're supposed to have them till noon on Monday, but they go to school, and it doesn't work with daddy's work schedule, because daddy goes in at eight, so he'd have to have them home at 6.45, come home, he'd drop them off at 
get home around 7. 5 of to 7. Then he'd have to leave 20, 30 minutes later to get to work because I take the cars. Because most days, I take the car. Well, pretty much how it works is usually Monday... He walks to work, walks or bikes to work, and walks or bikes home. Tuesday, he typically goes in for like a half hour. So he door dashes on Tuesdays usually, so he has the car. So I let him have the car, so he can go to work and he can door dash. We have these leggings that I thrifted from Thrifty Chopper, I believe. Well, I was pregnant with Gabe. They're, I don't remember the brand. I think, I want to say La LaRue, but maybe they're not. I didn't check. Um, And then Wednesdays. He typically, with the exception of today, he typically bikes bikes or walks to work and then I pick him up because he usually gets out at 6. Thursdays, lately he, the truck's been coming late, so he'll bike or walk to work and then I'll pick him up because he's been having to stay until after the truck is put away. So usually, yeah, which usually gets done the same time I get out. And it takes me about 20, half hour, 20 minutes to a half hour to get home. Get back over to get him. And then Fridays, it's a hit or miss. It's a 50-50. And then Saturdays, I usually take him and pick him up. Some days I usually take him and pick him up. Sometimes on Sundays I'll let him take the car. But like this week, Sunday, this week. So Monday, he took the car. Or Monday... He took the car to get the kids, brought the car home, went to work. Yep, rode his bike to work and then rode his bike home. Tuesday, he took the car, went to work for a little bit, took the car to get an oil change and fuel injection done, and then went home. Wednesday, today, it's Wednesday now, I, my director asked me if I could come in early because we were screwed for staff, so I said, I guess I can take Daddy to work at 8 and then come in after. She's like, that'd be great. So, I took him to work. Here's a pair of leg... Uh, I don't know where these came from. These sweatpants. I can't remember if I thrifted them or I got... I don't know if I bought them online. I can't remember for the life of me. Um, what I these pants. Someone gave me these. These are Meyer... Mayor line. They're similar to the ones I'm wearing today. They've got like the same stretchy waistband. This one seems to fit me the best. We have these pants that someone gave me. Again, stretchy waist. I don't know what brand these are. But yeah. Um, so that's Wednesday. Wait, tomorrow, today's what? Yeah. And then I dropped him off. Or, and then he, yeah, so I took him to work today, and then he walked home. Tomorrow, he has to get himself to work because he's only going in for, like, an hour or so. And depending on what time the truck actually comes, if the truck comes the normal late, it's supposed to come between 1 and 3. That's why he usually stays till 4. But if it comes his normal late time of 5, then I'll pick him up from work because I'll get done. Either... Right after I get out or right before because I've been getting out early. Saturday, he'll most likely take the car. And I'll go spend a few hours by myself. And I can't remember what he said his schedule was for Sunday. But I believe... I can't remember if Saturday was 8 to 12 or 8 to 2. So, and then Sunday is, I believe... 8 to 2. So he'll probably just take the car. And then I can't remember... And then Sunday, Mon and then I can't remember what he said for Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. But I believe he said it was like 8 to 12 or 8 to 2. Both, I think it was normal 8 to 2 on Monday. So again, he'll get himself to work. Because it's hard for me. Because yes, I go in at 9 o'clock. But it's a lot of extra stress on me. To have to... Get up at 7.50, get the baby up, load the baby in the car, 
take him to work, get home at 8.10. That cuts down 10 minutes I have to get ready. Because I try and, what I try and do is get up at 8, stay in bed till about 8.10, get ready from 8.10 to 8.30, then 8.30, like if it's a day that I'm home by myself, then at 8.30 get the baby ready. And as soon as I'm done getting the baby ready, we throw our coats on, grab all our stuff, and walk out the door. So, like, I'll usually have his little spinning container filled with snacks for him or a breakfast bar or something that he can eat either at daycare or on the way to daycare. We have these shorts that Daddy got from Ocean State Job Lot for Christmas last year. Um... I don't know. This is dirty. Okay, this has got to be rewashed. This is dirty. That's from Shein. I believe. Where well, I'm wearing Shein. It's my Sam shirt. Another pair of pants. I think these all came from that same pickup. I think it was a pickup I did out in the middle of nowhere. Where I got a crap ton of pants. And I didn't think half of them were going to fit me. So far, I think like two or three pair were too small. I had one, one or two pair that were too big, and then the rest all fit me perfectly. Or almost perfectly. We have this towel someone gave us when we moved in. I think when we move, though, into a new house, I'm going to get, like, brand new towels, brand new washcloths, brand new everything. Because my towel, I've literally had, I got it. So, the girl I went and had a play date with last Saturday, I literally got it from her. Her mom made it for me for my 17th birthday. There was a whole bunch of other pieces to the set. I don't know what the hell happened to them. So, all I've got left is a towel. Here is Daddy's Rick and Morty pants from, what's the name of that? Walmart. I tried to get into Rick and Morty. Watched about four or five episodes, couldn't do it. So I got Hulu originally because they were running a good deal. And it wasn't that expensive. It was like a dollar cheaper to get Hulu without ads. And Disney Plus without ads. Then I ended up upgrading. So it's like $29.99 a month for the two. Or $20.99 a month for the two. But I originally got Hulu so I could watch... Futurama. I really haven't been watching Futurama. Right now. So right now I'll tell you what I'm watching. Netflix, I'm currently not watching anything. Peacock, I just finished the new episode of Law and Order SVU. And I need to still finish watching Doctor House. Hulu, I still need to finish the last couple episodes of Doug and Bill, and I'm currently watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'm on season nine. Eight, nine? Nine, I think. Tubi, I don't think I'm watching anything. One of them I'm watching... I can't remember what I'm watching. I was watching... What's the name of that show? Storage Wars. Texas. And there is a little bit of crossover from the original Storage Wars because Mary and Pedian. Mary Pedian is on that show. I couldn't really stand her much before. Because I've watched Storage Wars. I think it was Southern Exposure or whatever. They were like in the South or something. I watched the one where they were in Canada. Storage Wars, Texas. I Nothing compares to the OG Storage Wars though. That was my favorite. So, yeah. The last item I have in this basket, which it really wasn't a big basket. So, I might do one more basket before I take a shower. Although, I do need to work on cleaning the laundry or the bathroom up a little bit because my hair accessories got all fucked up. I need to redo that whole drawer, my hair accessories. I need to redo my two hair accessories, my, my, headband and everything else drawer my hair accessories drawer and 
underneath the sink. And I have to put away some towels and stuff. Well, so I might do that. I don't know. Because it's already 10.30 and I still have not showered yet. So, but the last thing I got from Aldi's was this Aldi's sweater. Short shirt. That matches the blue pants. So, yeah. Um, I still have quite a bit to put away downstairs. I have a whole load to take downstairs to the basement. I have like three or I have still two comforters to wash. A whole shit ton. Like I've got still a lot of laundry to do. So I'm hoping and praying. I'm trying to work on it little by little every day. So that it's not too too overwhelming but it'll be easier to organize things and do things once I get my two dressers which I'm waiting on I'm trying to think I'm still waiting on my free item from Timo the two reshipment packages no, one, I'm waiting on one reshipment package. Free item from Timu. My one item that's coming separately. My other one. I think I'm waiting on four more Timu packages. And then hopefully I'm going to pay off. My plan is I'm hoping Saturday that Daddy gets his bonus because I'm going to pay off my two dolls and put a hundred towards two more dolls. Just two more babies I want if they're not sold by then. But we shall see. We shall see. So, yeah. So, now I've just got this random laundry basket that's chilling up here because I don't know what to do with it right now. But, yeah. That's what I currently have going on. The boys' room is about 90% put away. From the stuff that I have currently up there. It's like every time I get it like 80-90% done. I end up bringing more clothes up for them. So I still have to re-clean off the rocking chair. Which I might honestly just get rid of. Because we don't really use it that much. I've got... More clothes to put away. I've got our air mattress to find a home for. And then I've got the new bedding to put on Corbin's bed. I gotta see if there's new bedding. Yeah, if we have extra bedding for Grayson's bed. For all their bedding to be washed. And then I have to vacuum the room. And go through their black dresser. Actually, no, I think I already did their... I think I already did their black dresser the other day. Now that I think about it. So, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit, but I'm just so tired anymore because I'm working ridiculous hours. I'm trying to film content for you guys, try and do fun stuff for myself. Trying to do housework. Work a full-time job. I literally... Because... Okay, so... Last paycheck. I got sent home early that Friday. I only worked for an hour, about an hour, hour and a half. Hey! That Friday. And I still managed to have... Like, five, six hours of overtime. This paycheck, I was off Monday. A week ago Monday. Not this... Monday... Not the Monday that we're, of the week that we're currently in, but the Monday before. So I may have overtime. I know I won't have overtime for that week, but I'll probably have overtime for this week. Because I've worked... Nine and nine is 18.
I've worked about 27 hours already. So that means I have 13 hours. To use up. Between two days. And 8 plus 8 is 16. So that means if I work two full shifts. For the next two days. I'm getting overtime. Probably going to work. 19 hours. Probably have about six hours of overtime. Yeah, and I did go home early last Friday, too. So I'm probably going to get about six hours of overtime. So I'm only going to be short, like, I'm only going to have to use, like, one or two trains, so I'm only going to be short, like, three hours. I think your paycheck. But in all reality, I actually may not be because overtime counts for time and a half. Which means I'll be over, I'll have probably six hours of overtime this week. Which means I'll really get paid for 12 hours. Or, no, I'm sorry. So it's six plus, yeah. Wait, how does that mess that up? Hold on, let me pull out my calculator. I'm having a brain fart, sorry. So I'll get nine hours of overtime. So it'll, so the math will add up to nine hours of overtime. And I missed Monday, which was eight hours. And then an hour that two, I missed about 10 hours. Yeah, so I'll get about six hours. I think I'll get like five or six hours of overtime. So, I don't know. But anyways. I'm gonna go. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.